Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Well, I thought I'd just do a little video on picket uh, posts. Now, the one I've got there, these are the ones that you get in these cheap nasty kits which uh, they're not very good because simple reason is if you do make yourself a find some have a bit there not very well prepared here if you do want to put your barbed wire in you can only put wire through, push wire through there and you've either got a no nope, made a shot there you've got a Cut each one of them because the barbs won't go through there, and then you've got a super glue them, and it's a lot of mucking about. Now, these are the ones that I make, and they're very easy to, to make. And the nice thing about them is they'll actually work just like the proper thing. So, I'm trying to do this. Uh, as you can see, it's through there like that. Now, if you want to sort of just get your pl uh, tweezers and just crimp it up, just so it doesn't come out at all. So, they're not that difficult to make. Because, I mean, I was looking on eBay and they wanted, I think it was nearly £8 for 10 of these which is a ridiculous price and it, uh, I'll, sh oh, well, I'll sh show you how I make them now let's attempt to focus in this is, I made this little jig now it's nothing special but it works uh, find a little piece of wire well, I should try and make one but you may appreciate this is you really need it in your hand but it's very simple just to just take it round keep it taut take it round second one keep it taut the third one keep it taut and then the fourth one and keep it taut. It's normally the first one is just a little bit difficult to get started. And then just push them down and straighten up anything that's out of shape. And then just uh, lift it off. And there you go. And then what I do is you, you cut it to you cut it to what length you want. But then if you just get your scalpel blade or your hobby knife and just gently open them up a little tiny bit, only a fraction, just allow the your barbed wire to go through. Then you can just crimp them up again. So. That's my little picket stick, very simple, straightforward, and on a little diorama, it will look pretty, pretty good. I'll just coat them up in a bit of uh, rust track. So this is, uh, I'll show you how to make this little jig. I'll, I'll even give you the sizes. Any piece of scrap timber is going to do anything, you know. You want it so you can put it in your hand because it's a lot easier just to have it in your hand and and go go round. Uh, all you need is a straight line drawn down down the centre. Then divide it up into eight millimeter sections, and then uh, with a small drill. 
just drill down. Now you can use uh, panel pins, some of them real thin panel pins. What I used was I had these kicking around, uh, the, the syringe ends, which they're stainless. I think they're stainless steel, and they're they're pretty robust. So all I did was drill a small hole, tap it in, and then just chop it off. Now I've chopped them off roughly at about what five six mil, but it's totally up to you you know because everybody works differently so you can you know leave them big and then if you if it's not working cut them down a bit more and then, then get the actual size that you know that you feel comfortable that and you can actually do it these two pins here they're just there to hold that wire so I mean you can use anything uh, stick a bit a bit of plastic down there anything you feel comfortable with you know just that is just there as a like a little counter lever like that so you know they I mean if you want to put some adjustable or it in you can you know the, the thing about it is you can make this how you want it and how it's going to be comfortable for you to make you know to make them with now I'm using uh, I think that's 0 0.5 yeah, it's 0 0.5, which is this one here. If I've if, if things keep going out of shot, I'm sorry. I keep looking at that and not, not at the, the the monitor to make sure that I am in shot. This is 0 0.5. I get this stuff off eBay. It's a pound a roll, and there's quite a lot in a in a roll. And it comes in six. It comes in two. I've got zero two. You get plenty of it, and it's re it really does. I, I like it because it really sculpts well. I mean, for barbed wire and stuff like that, it, you can you know actually sort of model it to what you want. So, but you can use paper clips, bits of copper wire, anything like that, and it's as easy as that. Uh, if I've missed anything out, you can always ask ask a question. I'm quite happy. But basically, that's all it is, and um, they do come out reasonably well. Where the middle of it is, they do come out reasonably well. There you go. Right. Thank you very much.